Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. I've made a new pick a card read for you. This time it's the Love Tarot, Full Celtic Cross, Tarot Love Spread about your love life. Now this is a timeless reading. Whenever you get into this video, it's good for you to watch and for you to resonate with if you do resonate with it. I've made three readings here, the crystal, the flower, and the shell. Each one of them has got a deeper dive to it. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of these readings, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. And that's where you can also find your timestamps to fast forward to your reading. Now I've got two draws every single month for a free private reading with me worth 160 Australian dollars. So you're definitely going to want to be entered into those. The first draw is for the subscribers of my YouTube channel who click like on videos and leave a comment. That'll get you one entry and you can enter as many times as you like by doing that on the month's videos. The second prize draw is for all of you guys that get the deeper dives, get those extended readings to my um, pick a card reads throughout the month and no matter when the video is being put out you can get those deeper dives. So watch the what but the back catalogue if you resonate with those um, and that'll get you an entry in there so good luck with that now all you need to do now is take your pick which one would you like would you like the crystal crystal is out with the hermit card from the light seers tarot or would you like the flower this beautiful orchid is out with the ten of inspiration which is from the muse tarot or the spiky crystal no, shell, the spiky shell. Would you like the spiky shell, which is out with the world card from the Tarot of Mystical Moments? Take your pick now. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click on that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment as well to get yourself an entry into the draw. I do a daily energy update for the collective. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show where I give one question readings. You can book in for those one question readings anytime on my website behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. Book yourself in. I will do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show so you needn't come along if you don't want to because I'll send you the link to the replay um, once it's done. Uh, alternatively, you can come live. Find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. Sit on, sit on, click on Notify Me, is that a reminder or whatever it says on there. Come along live, you can book while I'm live too. I also do three of these, pick a card, reads a week. Let me know what you want the next ones to be about in the comments below. And I offer private readings as well from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there. Well, take a pick now. Crystal, flower, or shall, I'll see you in your reading. So if you chose the crystal and this one's for you, crystals, let's find out what's going on in your love life with the Light Seers Tarot. Give you a full Celtic Cross Tarot love spread here. And now as usual, crystals, there's gonna be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, you might wanna get that. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's see what your reading is all about this week. Crystals, what's this reading all about? Two pentacles and the hermit. Mm. Weighing up your options, huh, crystals? Might be by yourself, the hermit card, perhaps not seeking someone, not putting yourself out there very much, very much in hermit mode, tending to yourself, self-love, uh, healing yourself, all of those kind of things, keeping to yourself. Perhaps that's what you've been doing, happy to be by yourself. And the Two of Pentacles is about weighing up your options. Do I want to be doing this now? Is there someone kind of waiting for me if I open up? Um, Wake up your options like that. Now you might have found solace in being by yourself. It might be the first time you've even felt happy with being by yourself. And um, there's a lot of good things that come with that. So you might be weighing up like, is this worth giving up? Am I ready? Am I ready to open up yet? So weighing up your options at the moment. So what is crossing you in this? What's hindering you then? <clears throat> What's hindering you? The chariot, forward movement. Okay, so it's it's tricky, isn't it? Because we hear all the time, it's like folklore, isn't it? 
when you're not looking for love that's when it finds you but if you're sitting at home and you're not getting out there at all then love doesn't find you then does it it's like we've got to be open in life not necessarily out there looking for love but out there but perhaps yeah out there looking for love not romance but out there looking for love for abundance for great experiences that kind of thing when we open up to life more that's when love can find us right but it can't really find us when we're in that hermit mode so chariot card is about forward movement it's about like putting ourselves out there again it's it's that that there is an element here of you guys needing to open up more but we don't go from permit mode to like seeking romance that that is a step too far you know there needs to be opening up to perhaps more, more friendships first more socially first or opening up to other things along the way the chariot card i'm just getting what's holding you back there what's crossing you is wanting to go like from zero to a hundred miles an hour straight away and you're not a ferrari i don't know what cards do that well, perhaps you are a ferrari i don't know okay so how do things appear on the surface of it are you ready let's see I'm just getting this feeling like you guys you might be holding yourself back like and asking the cards like is the, my person out there I only want to go out and open up if my person is there do you know what I mean that kind of guardedness where it's like I want the guarantees before I open up or we can't have that opening up is a process and we open up to friendships to abundance to all different kinds of love coming in and then when we've got that flow going and we're in that flow that's when love find us, finds us in my experience so how did things appear on the surface of it the full card showed itself and then went back in the three of cups now the three of cups is about out and about with your friends you know it's friendship it, it's going out it it's celebrations it's well i'm i am getting myself out there claire you say i'm out with my friends you know so so you are okay so you're a bit out that's how it appears on the surface what's really behind that what's really behind that So you're out and about with your friends but this reading is saying well kind of you're in the hermit mode still but you might be what's really behind that okay queen of pentacles nine of pentacles two very strong independent energies and very stable energies so on the surface of it it looks like you're out and about with your friends so you're like i am opening up claire i go out with my friends but what's really behind that is this very independent and stable energy so you might have taken the hermit mode out outside too with your friends but you're still in hermit mode do you know what i mean so i think i'm in this energy <laughs> um where you're like okay i'll be open i'll go out there so i've got my tight knit group of friends you know my three or four friends or whatever and then we go out but we don't talk to anyone else so you might be talking to other people but not really open when I'm out and I'm really open I'm talking to I'm just open to meeting new people and I'm talking to all different kinds of people I'm not staying in my comfort zone my comfort zone of just the friends that I know talking to the same old same old kind of thing um so you might just be thinking that you're more open but you're kind of not you've taken the hermit outside it doesn't mean that you're open open there's a, a level more open and and just think of it comfort zones you're still in your comfort zone when you're out and that's a great thing at first but it's like this is this reading is asking you to open up even further than that it is okay so recent past energies the fool so you have stepped out there, right? You've taken the first step to get out there from permanent mode. Mm -hmm. Yes. The fool, it, it's about having the courage to start something new, to do something different. So you have taken that first step. I see that. So what's coming in in the near future? Ooh, hello. King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, this is somebody else's energy. King of Wands, very attractive energy. They're a go-getter. They know what it is that they want. They can be an imposing energy. Now, 
with all of this reading, so you're the energy, you've been in hermit mode, you kind of think that you're still in that, but you are getting out, out and about now, but not really open, not really open energy, just one step out there. And who's going to be attracted to that kind of an energy? Someone that's kind of out there, but a bit closed up. Well, you've got this King of Wands energy, someone that goes, I want that one. Um... It could be a player, it doesn't have to be though, but it could be someone who is up for the challenge, who likes the chase. You see someone that's kind of playing hard to get, they're out there, but they're not, they're not really open. I want to crack that nut, do you know what I mean? It's that kind of an energy. So the King of Wands, they can be someone that ignores the kind of keep me keep away from me energy and sees it as a challenge instead and comes in anyway now this could be the only kind of person that could get through to you at the moment someone that's bold enough to override your actual energies of stay away from me kind of I'm opening up at the moment I'm open a bit you can see me but I'm not really available kind of thing this this, this kind of person will will push over that the, over those boundaries and that could make you feel like they are the right one for you but it doesn't feel like they are um the right one for you would kind of wait until you were fully open and available now if you were attracted to this type of a person coming in and doing the work for you just be careful of that because really it's for you to open up isn't it and not for someone to open you up other people can't do it for us and we get a hard lesson if if we let someone in who really is someone that doesn't care about our boundaries even if it's not a boundary that we want to have there it's a boundary that is there at the moment for you and that's okay you can open up as slow as you like so this reading is about the two pentacles and the hermit are you ready to, to step further out of that hermit energy hermit hermit the hermit what else is this reading about is about the Wheel of Fortune. It's time for change. Huh, it's time for change. Now, with this King of Wands here, this very attractive energy, this very strong energy coming in, the Wheel of Fortune is also about the Fated card as well. And what happens if we are kind of resisting change? We tend to have tower moments. We tend to, the universe tends to get involved. It waits for us, it's like, is she going to open up? Is she going to take the next step? Mm, she's not doing it. Let's throw someone at her, something at her to take her to that next stage, which isn't necessarily comfortable. It's not comfortable either way to take ourselves to the next stage, but it's not necessarily beneficial. So just be careful of what's coming in. It's better to push yourself out of your comfort zone and open up than it is to be pushed by the universe because it's not, um, it's a lesson that comes along when it's the universe that steps in, let's put it that way. It's not necessarily what we want. Okay, so what are your fears? The High Priestess, about trusting your intuition. And I see with this High Priestess card, she's got her eyes open, but she's got her eyes closed too. Can you see? It's like her eyeshadow is eyes. If you stare at it long enough, it looks like she's got heavy eye. Her eyes are open. She's got heavy eyeliner on her under eyes. Are her eyes open and she's got heavy eyeliner under her eyes? Or are her eyes closed and she's got eyeshadow on? You know, there's this, is she open or not, energy. In this card itself, is she awake or not? Is she available or not? She's out. Is she open or not? There's this confusion. And I think there's this fear of like, in yourself, are you open or not? You're not really sure about it yet. You're in the process of opening, you are. And it's okay for you to go at your own pace to it's okay not to be ready you know sometimes we're just not ready and don't let anyone tell you you're ready when you're not ready and don't put pressure on yourself to be ready before you're ready think of yourself like a strawberry 
If you're green, you're green. It's not time to be picked yet. You're going to be juicy and red in time. Just give it time. If you go easy on yourself, that's self-love and you're more likely to ripen and be ready more easily, you know? You don't want to push yourself into this energy and then be susceptible to this. I don't feel like this is a good one, but we'll see in that deeper dive. We'll get into this King of Wands energy. What are your hopes? There's too many. What are your hopes? The Three of Wands. Three of Wands is if you wait long enough, you'll get perfection. The Three of Wands is like waiting for like the perfect person. So you're hoping that like, that's what I was picking up from this reading straight away. It's like you only want to open up when the, per the right person, like when Mr. Right is there for you, when it's out there for you. You only want to open up if it's safe is what that's saying. Okay, well, let's get your outcome cards out. So I'll be revealing the first outcome card in this reading, but I'm going to get a progression of them out, like six or seven cards out um, for your outcome to get the full story. So the rest of them are going to be revealed in that extended reading, in the deeper dive read. I'll also be getting cards out from all of these decks back here as well to give you more guidance. Um, we'll be getting into that King of Wands energy and anyone else that shows up in this reading too. Getting timing cards out for you as well. Ooh, timing cards out for you too and anything else. Well, we might be getting... Um, message cards out from your person as well. Wow. Who you're getting some strong cards out. Mm. What else? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I just want to put those two the other way around. They kind of came out at once, but it doesn't make much sense in the way that it's come about. So the first card that you've got, and then you've got these after it. The first card is the Ten of Wands. It's about putting down your burdens. Like I said, I think you shouldn't feel so burdened about opening up here. Be Don't be pushing yourself so much to speed yourself along here. I don't know what your reasons are. Perhaps you do. Let me know in the comments below. Why do you think that you need to push yourself along? I mean, for some of you, it might just be because you've been alone for so long and you might think, you know, it's you've been out of the game too long. Or perhaps some of you are younger and you think, you know, your biological clock is ticking. And whatever your reasons for speeding yourself up, perhaps don't do that to yourself don't be mean to yourself in that kind of a way putting the burdens down is is saying like you're feeling burdened by this whole process and you really shouldn't be so putting those burdens down first so it doesn't feel so burdensome so it's not like a heavy weight so it's not like the thing that you're saying like is wrong with you it it feels to me like this is the thing that you want to change in your life at the moment you want to open up but the amount of pressure that you put on yourselves make it, makes it more difficult to open up so perhaps just like face those how you're burdening yourself and ask yourself why why are you burdening yourself so much why are you putting so much pressure on yourself because the first step to your outcome is to release those burdens first Okay, so that is what I've got for you. Now, if that sounds like it is your story, it could be a story you want it to be a story, and you want to know what the rest of these cards are for your outcome, um, you do have someone else coming in. Uh, if you want to know all about them, you might want to get that deeper dive read. If you do, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for it in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 50 American dollars right now, and it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, because if you get that wrong, you will not receive it. Now, the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk, your promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the crystal on a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw to win a free private reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive read as well, that'll get you into that second draw too. So two chances to win one of those private readings with me. 
But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly. If you chose the flower, then this one's for you. Flowers. Let's give you a full Celtic cross tarot love spread here with the Muse Tarot. Find out what's going on in your love life. Now, as usual, flowers, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, or want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So what's this reading all about? Let's find out for you guys, flowers. What's going on in your love life? Let's see. Ten of inspiration. Putting down the burdens. Now, have relationships been a burden to you? Do you find that you've come to put too much work into them and you're not getting much back? Burdened by them. It, it just adds a lot to your life and not in a good way rather than contributing to your life in a positive way. Perhaps you're finding that relationships are a burden. So what is, this could be about putting down burdens as well, about letting someone go too, that feels burdensome to you, hard work. If a relationship has been hard work for you, having to put too much into it, could be about that too. Well, what is hindering you here? So what is holding you guys back? Flowers, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune comes out it's a fated kind of a card. It's when the universe kind of moves us on. It feels like when the cogs of the universe start moving, it feels like we're being moved into a new phase of our life. It feels like, you know, it's like when lots of different signs show up when So for example, if it's time to move on from a relationship, you could start getting a lot of offers from friends, like, do you want to do this and do you want to do that? And then there could be more happening at work. Do you know, it's like the universe just kind of shifts you away from it. It's like lots of distractions, that kind of thing. It feels like that. It feels like the universe shifting you away from someone or a, a certain genre of people, type of people that, ha that has you feeling burdened. So what am I trying to say? Perhaps you've been in patterns of burdening yourself too much in all kinds of relationships, taking too much on, offering too much, being generous, that kind of thing, and you weigh yourself out. And that could happen with you and family members, it could happen with you um, and friends, it could happen with you in, in work situations too, and it could happen with you in romantic relationships too, and in all likelihood is you do it everywhere in your life. If you're doing this, you've got this pattern, you're likely doing it in every kind of relationship. And that, you must be exhausted if you're doing that, right? And the universe will show you in each area and they'll give you signs it's like well in each area that it's time to move on from that do you know what i mean so it, i'm just getting like you're getting a lot of signs at the moment so how do things appear on the surface of it let me know if that's true you're getting a lot of signs what signs are you getting let me know in the comments below so on the surface of it ace of voices and strength so it appears like you're strong and ace of voices you you want to make like a clear start based on the wisdom that you've got so you've you've got some clarity about yourself and about doing things differently so uh, ace of voices is about um when we are kind of understanding a situation in our minds perhaps not emotionally but in in our minds and we feel ready for a new start because logically we're like, so, so in other words, if you realize that you're getting into draining relationships, you might know in your mind, no, I want a relationship that is equal, um, someone that is giving, loving and giving. So you know in your mind that is what you want. It doesn't necessarily mean you can have that yet. You might not have right, realized deep what your deeper patterns are and all of that kind of thing. So you feel like you're strong enough now and ready for a new start, but it's still cerebral kind of thing. It doesn't feel fully integrated yet. Well, let's find out what's be what's behind that. What's behind, it's a great start, full energy. So 
what's really behind that is kind of you be stepping into the unknown so it hasn't fully been integrated but it's a start so what do you do you, you know we, we have a realization i've re i realized i've been burdening myself now i'm seeing it um so i want a different experience so you you're like you're ready okay i'm ready for a new start i feel strong enough you don't know all the ins and outs of it yet and you don't have to either you put yourself into the unknown like, like a newbie in this in a different type of relationship and you're going to be um new to this like figuring it all out um a new style of relationship so be very being very conscious of yourself as you head into new things um, because you're going into uncharted territory here is what this is saying and that's not a bad thing at all it's a very good thing in fact starting a new chapter of your life you know so recent past energies i'm just getting like you've had a lot of signs about this six of inspiration you've been seen to be doing really good to be winning kind of thing so yeah i think you've been recognized by people around you how you've been changing maturing is what it feels like like wow you just seem so much happier now you know people could be saying like you're looking you're looking you seem happier you're looking better you know that kind of thing people have noticed there's been a shift in you so you're definitely going through changes at the moment um near future energies Page of Materials is the start of something new, the start of a new experience. The Page of Materials, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody. It's the start of something new. Um, like I said, with this full energy and page energy, it's like stepping into uncharted territories. So you will be getting an offer from somebody. Um, I, I think you won't know like if it's truly what you want or not, but I think it's definitely a path to follow. So this reading is about 10 of wands. It's about putting down your burdens, no longer picking up those burdens anymore, going stepping into a new experience in life where you don't have those burdens. Beautiful. Empress energy, very nice. So the Empress is the one that knows what she deserves. So there's this inner, you've obviously done the inner work, right? Of knowing what you truly deserve. Now you know that you're made for better and, and you should be receiving more and all of that great energy so this is beautiful this puts you in really good stead like you're still going to be a noob at this you know still going to be in, headed into the unknown but coming from a really good place inside of knowing what you deserve now and not settling for anything less than that so that, that's really great really great energy it's good for you flowers so now it'll be about stepping into new experiences and, and experiencing that and just staying conscious about yourself and you know, looking out for red flags and stuff like that, both in yourself and in them, and just like figuring out a new, a new way of being in, in relationships that add things to your life instead of take away from your life. And, and that requires you to, you know, be very conscious of yourself because you're going to want to go back into your old patterns for sure. Get into a relationship and it's like, oh, I'll, I just want to do everything for them and make them feel loved, you know, and, and, and do a lot for them. Naturally, we want to do that. We want to make someone feel loved. And we're to be able to hold ourselves back from that and just make sure that it's balanced. We don't do too much. We don't, um, we don't focus on the relationship so, so much that we make it imbalanced kind of thing, you know. So... What are your fears? What are your fears, flowers? The night of inspiration, fearing players, someone playing with you. Yeah, you, it's like you've got some serious work to do here and you don't just want a player in your life. You want someone that's going to go on this journey with you, you know? Very youthful kind of an energy, the King of Knight of Inspiration, sorry. And so you don't want someone that's like young, naive. You don't want someone that's like just wanting a fling or just wanting something purely sexual or something like that. It's like you want someone to do the work with, someone that's going to help you to grow, someone that's got something to offer to you. What are you hoping for? That was quick. Eight of emotions, leave the past behind and move to... New horizons. Trust in eclipse energy. Are we in eclipse season now? I think we are. 
Something to do with eclipse season and it changing. You've got a lot of universal support in these shifts that you're going through. You're very, very much at a turning point in your lives now in all kinds of relationships. So let's get your outcome cards out. I'm going to get a progression of outcome cards out for you. So we get the full picture of you moving forward. I'll be revealing the first one of them, which just came out there in this reading. And the rest of them I will be revealing in the deeper dive read, that extended reading. In that deeper dive read, I'll also be getting cards out from these decks back here to give you more guidance. I'm going to be getting into the people coming into your lives energy as well. Getting some timing cards out for you, like your progression forward. We're getting message cards out from anybody who's in this reading, showing up in this reading too for you. See what they've got to say for themselves. And anything else that comes up as well in that deeper dive read. So you've got five cards out. Let's just get one more. I want one more. What's next? There we go. Oh, you know, there's often a lot of crossover between Crystal and Shell's reading and the progression that you've got here ends with the same card as the Crystal got, which is very interesting to me as a reader. Well, your first outcome card out is the Two of Materials and you've got all of these coming out after that. Two of Materials is about finding a balance. Um, reciprocation can be this too. Seeking balance, two of materials. So you're needing to be balanced, right? This is the key for you guys moving forward. When you've been overburdened in relationships, you need to seek balance. So you need to be keeping score at first, even though that feels like, oh, I don't want to do that, you know? I just want it to come naturally. But we need to make it a conscious thing first. It's, it's like when you're losing weight and you start tracking your calories. No one wants to do that forever, but it's really important to do it for at least a couple of months. I think because it just you, you get to know you get to know where your imbalances are you get to know, like things become conscious when you do that you don't need to do it forever but for, for a while you're going to have to have this checking system like okay I've messaged them I'll wait for them to message me like having clear guide, guides around that so that you do create balance so that you're not investing too much before the other person invests. So it's like, it's not my turn to message them, it's their turn. It's not my turn to ask them out on a date, it's their turn. It's, you know, and, and just keeping it balanced, like I, I did this, this nice thing for them, I'll, I'll wait for them to do something nice. You know, because if you, if you don't keep that check, that system of, of making it conscious and keeping that scoreboard, at first, like relationships are a competition, but if you don't, you're going to be oblivious to it like you were oblivious to it before. It's about making things conscious, right? Just think of it like, um, yeah, like counting your calories, doing doing my fitness pal when you when you're on a diet to find out what you've been ignoring, you know, imbalances that you've been ignoring. Finding a balance too, it's also about you figuring yourself out in a way, the urge to message them when it's not your turn, the urge to spend too much time investing into the relationship, like too focused on it, you know, so it's so if some if they're working and you know, they think about you occasionally, but they're not thinking about you all day long, right? And so you could be like sitting on your hands, like trying not to message them. Well, that could tell you that you, you're focusing on the relationship too much and you need to be getting on with other things in your life, you know? Um, it could be about that, but you've got to seek this balance first and then the rest of it. And so 
mm, you do have something coming into your life here but it's very much early days kind of thing a little little bit and you're gonna to have to be very conscious moving forward but if you want to find out what the rest of these are and then all the rest of it you might want to get that deeper dive read for even more if you do i'll pop a link for it up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong you will not receive it now the email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junk or your promotions folder check those places in that email you will see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on the flower on a device that you can open pdfs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video and when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize drawer at the end of the month to win a free private reading with me as we'll get in that deeper dive read as well get that'll get you an entry into that second drawer as well um but if this is where you're leaving me good luck with all of this and if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read then i will see you in there very shortly so if you chose the shell then this one's for you shells let's find out about your love life with the tarot of mystical moments and give you a full cut across tarot love spread now as usual shells there's going to be a deeper dive to this read that's an extended reading that goes with this so if you find that it is your story could be a story want it to be a story then you might want to get that deeper dive for even more if you do toward the end of the reading we're popping a link for up there you can also find a link for that in the in the description box and in the comments below what is this reading all about let's find out shells you have the world card out first the world card is about the end of a chapter in your life and the start of a new chapter it could also be about travel as well we could be talking about somebody coming from afar or you moving somewhere else as well <clears throat> a movement in your love life but I'm definitely feeling like the end of a chapter and the start of a new chapter so significant change going on in your love life at the moment Charles are you ready for significant change nice so what is hindering you here the queen of cups queen of cups is the energy of you learning how to receive right so perhaps you've been in this energy of not understanding how to receive um, not understanding how you are stopping yourself from receiving, not understanding um, how, why you are not allowing yourself to receive or holding what you really want away from you, something like that. Perhaps you've been pat in patterns of overgiving and that's been kind of um, hiding the fact that you don't want to receive, you know overcompensating for perhaps how you feel about yourself so what I mean by that is if we don't feel like we are worthy of receiving then we can turn into a person like as a response as a trauma response um, to a person that likes to give 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 take care of everyone else that kind of thing we try to give what is lacking in ourselves away to others until we realize one at some point in time and perhaps that's time that point in time is is around now for you shells that what you're trying to give to everyone else is what what it is that you you've been lacking uh, what you want to receive and so often when we find ourselves not receiving from anyone it's because we didn't in the early days receive very much at all and then we felt not worthy of receiving and so we don't want anyone else to feel like that right so we give 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 to everyone else and then there comes a point in time when we realize oh it's me that's not receiving <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to give what it, i don't even have inside of myself out to everyone else and i'm the one that is the most in lack the most the, the one that isn't receiving and when we realize that that's when we can stop giving to everyone else stop trying to fix it outside of ourselves and turn it in on ourselves and start giving our beautiful energy to ourselves instead so how do things appear on the face of it well it looks like you're on this long slow journey in the cold by yourself five of pentacles like always alone kind of thing having to do it yourself um <clears throat> lots of inner work it's a hard journey the five of pentacles it's it's like 
walking through mud to get somewhere and you don't seem to get the rewards along the way you know that's how it appears on the surface of it like you're not really gaining very much you're not really receiving very much what's really beneath that is the knight of swords woman on a mission the knight of swords is when you have an aha and it gives you a reason to be like like uh, it gives you a a mission like a mission to like an idea of a mission <coughs> forward and so your mission now could be i'm going to receive <laughs> like, i'm going to receive i realize i'm the person that's not receive receiving i'm going to receive and, and when we set out in our hearts and our minds like that to have a new experience it's really powerful when we realize that we've not been experiencing something, we've been lacking in it. And we want to have that experience and we're kind of determined and we go forward on this mission. It's powerful. The universe plays along with it for sure. So you could have had a realization lately that perhaps all your life you haven't been receiving and you're ready to receive now. Recent past energy. Recent past energy, please. <coughs> Recent past energy for shells. Five of cups. So loss. A lot of loss. Yeah, the five of cups here. She's got some flowers in her hand there, but she's looking at the stuff that's been lost. So you've been missing it out. Uh, and it's hard not to look at that really and I'm getting it's true you know I'm not I'm not just getting that you've got um, a dodgy focus you know some people can have that but that's not your case here you are actually experiencing loss and lack and, and, and it's true you know so any kind of work that you've been trying to do in a work that you've been trying to do to ignore that and to be put a positive thoughts in your head would have made it even worse right because the lack is actually true you have been lacking you've not been receiving you know it's like if we've got no money and we can't pay the bills just telling ourselves that we've got plenty of ab abundance doesn't fix the situation <laughs> it doesn't fix what is going on at all that is not the way out of it we have to find out what's deeper than that or what, why we're holding it away from us so you've experienced a lot of lack in your life. Yeah, you have been missing out. And it's a really powerful moment when it's like, when we get to that point, like I said, when we get to that point where it's like, hang on, I'm trying to fix this problem in anyone else, everyone else. I'm just presuming that everyone else is feeling that. They might not be feeling that, but I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that more than ever. I'm the one that isn't receiving. It's my time now. It's very powerful when we face what is lacking in our life. It is really powerful. When we face up to a problem in our life and we kind of accept it and say, wow, yes, I am experiencing this. This is more about me than it is about anyone else. Okay, so what's coming in in the near future? Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting that they came out together there. So the Knight of Pentacles is someone that's moving very slowly. And the Page of Wands, in this deck especially, it kind of looks like the Page of Swords, someone that's got their eye on you, taking action toward you, <coughs> perhaps passion for you. It's very grounded energy with this Knight of Pentacles. So there's someone coming very slowly toward you here. Someone's got their eye on you, perhaps attracted to you, but they're coming really slowly towards you. <coughs> okay. So this is about a whole change in your life, a change of chapters in your life with the world card there. What else is this reading about? Six of Pentacles, reciprocation. So you're a generous person, right? are you i don't know if this rings true for you that you've been trying to fix everyone else thinking that they're in this lacking energy and they haven't received have you really not been getting reciprocation or have you just been getting it wrong you've been trying to give to people that didn't actually need it you know if we go into an equal relationship 
there can be reciprocation there. But if we feel like that person's got a problem and they need to get something from me, I'm going to give to them. We can often project the issues that we've got on other people. So, for example, if you've got no money and you can't pay your bills, you're probably like thinking that no one else has got any money either and they're not going to buy my stuff and they're not going to get a reading from me. You know, that, that is the mindset that we have. We project our issues onto someone else. We think that nobody's got any money. Like everyone's lacking, everyone's struggling. Or I haven't received very much love. Everyone mustn't be receiving love. Like uh, as soon as I see something, like the slightest grimace on someone's face, I'm going to think, oh, but they're really hurting inside. I really need to love them and give a lot to them. Where That's projection. That's projection. So Six of Pentacles, it's about reciprocal energy. It's about generosity. So what I said is like, you might think that you've been generous. You have been giving energy, but is that truly generosity? Generosity is different. Generosity is when we're like, we'd really love to do someone for something, just kind of bring them joy. That's different than projecting an issue onto someone and thinking that we need to scrape them up off the floor because they're on the floor when they're not. Generosity is a different thing. Clean giving is a different thing than <coughs> thinking that someone needs something. That's a judgment. Okay, so what are your fears? What are your fears? Shells? Knight of Wands, the player. Fearing the players. Perhaps they're the ones that you've been giving a lot of energy to. What are your hopes? Ooh, <laughs> the Emperor, nice. Divine Masculine. So you're hoping to draw in somebody or choose or have them choose you, that some divine masculine. And so there is an element here of it being about them. You're fearing them, the players. You're, you're wanting the divine masculine. It's all about the people, and it's, but it's not really about the people. If you have this pattern of projecting your issues onto other people, <coughs> You're always going to be, you're not going to be seeing the divine masculine in them. Even if you met this one, you'd come along and it's like, oh, they just grimaced or they, they just raised their eyebrows. You know, any, any kind of gesture that you'd see from them, you're going to think that you're empathizing with their emotion. You're going to think that they're feeling the same way as you. Um, projection, projection. So even if you met the right person, if you're in this pattern, you're not going to have a healthy relationship with them anyway, so you wouldn't recognize whether they're the right person or not, whether they're this one or that one. Okay, let's get your outcome cards out. So I'm going to get a progression of outcome cards out so that we get the full story of you moving forward. Um, I'll be revealing the first one of them in this reading, but the rest of them, oh, the rest of them I will be revealing in the Deeper Dive read, that extended reading. In that extended reading, I'll also be getting cards out from this, these decks back here for guidance for you, further guidance for you. We'll be getting cards out about the people that you've got coming in as well. There's one. And you've got someone else coming in here as well in your outcome cards. I'll show you that very shortly. Oh, nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. One more, please. What next after that? This one. Oh. Well, there we go. Very nice. So you have six outcome cards here. The first one is King of Wands. King of Wands energy. Now, it could be the same person. Page of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. Someone moving very slowly towards you. The King of Wands energy. Someone that knows what it is that they want. They come in, they claim you. They've got very strong energy and they take action. They're the action taker. They dance to the beat of their own drum. Often entrepreneurial kind of an energy because of that, you know. Um, I come up with my own ideas, I work for myself, I'm a go-getter, I'll make it happen myself, that kind of thing. Can be, can be very independent, but yeah, they're an action taker. So that is who you've got coming in, could be the same person as this, but in the deeper dive I'll probably treat them as separate people just to see if there's a difference between their energies. And then you've got all of these cards. If you want to find out what these cards are, 
and you want all that rest of the further story on all of this, if it sounds like it is your story, could be a story you want it to be a story, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. If you do, I'll pop a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now, and it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, because if you get that wrong, you will not receive it. <coughs> now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk, or your promotions folder. Do check in those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower, and the shell. Click on the shell on a device that you can open PDFs with. And in that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into the prize draw to win a, a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive read, that'll get you entered into the second draw as well to win one of those private readings with me. So good luck with that. Um, but if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly.